in with the underworld's most dangerous syndicates <laughs> and pull off the greatest heist the Outer Rim has ever seen. I'm in. So we're back and we're talking about Star Wars Outlaws today. I actually played this on the Xbox Series X and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on this. We're gonna keep it very light on spoilers. You may see little minor things here and there, but nothing that's gonna ruin your experience if you still wanna actually play this game. And also, if you guys haven't, definitely like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a whole lot. All right, so let's actually get right into it. Now, I actually had early access to this game, but I was out of town and I came back literally the day before early access ended. So this video would have been out sooner, but because of that, it's getting out kind of late. But we're actually gonna get right into this and we're actually gonna talk about um, something that a lot of people have been talking about when it comes to this game. And one thing that I've heard myself is that the game is kind of mid. And we're actually gonna get into that, but one of the biggest things I have to address is Something that a lot of people have also been talking about, and it's the character model. Now, we're not going to get too deep into the fact that for some weird reason that they can't get female characters to look anything like their real life model, like they can do with male characters. We're not going to get too deep into that. But I have to say, in almost every single scene where I see her face, the main character, K, she looks so weird and just out of place. Maybe it's the haircut, which I wish they gave you option to change her hair in this game. Like, I really wish that was an option. But her face and eyes and everything looks so weird. It is so strange to me where you have other characters in this game that look graphically better than she does. I don't know what Ubisoft was thinking or doing when they made her, but she just looks so out of place. Now, sticking in line with the fact of how the game looks, graphically the game looks okay there's nothing really that groundbreaking about the game again i was playing this game on fidelity so all the clips you're seeing are with the fidelity option turned on for the series x and as you can tell it just looks okay it looks fine it does not look or feel anything like a next gen game whatsoever and that's kind of the thing about mostly everything with my experience with this game this game does a lot but everything that it does do feels extremely mid basic and nothing really that great like for example this game has stealth stealth is actually a huge factor of this game this game has like a wanted system which you've seen in the earlier trailers which isn't really that deep it doesn't really have a lot of long heavy consequences behind it this game has different factions this game has you know obviously your traditional action but every aspect of it just feels okay Nothing feels over the top. There's a scene in particular where you're running down a corridor, things are breaking and exploding, and as you're running, it just feels like I'm casually pressing the A button. It seems like it's trying to be games like Uncharted or Tomb Raider. It just seems like they didn't do much of anything to keep it really all that exciting. The other thing is, it's really weird because throughout the entirety of the game, you have these black bars on the top and bottom of the screen, like it's giving you this really cinematic movie vibe, and I don't know if Ubisoft is really patting themselves on the back, but this game does not look good enough to do that. You should have just left it normal widescreen, whatever you call it, because this game doesn't have a movie look and feel to it. On top of the look and feel, this game barely registers as a Star Wars game, which is really weird. I honestly feel wholeheartedly that this game was originally Beyond Good and Evil 2. Maybe it wasn't, but you would really have to convince me that it wasn't because it doesn't feel like a Star Wars game. Does it have Star Wars locations and characters, you know, basic background characters? Yeah, it does. But ultimately, this game doesn't feel like it's in the Star Wars universe. Heck, it doesn't even use Star Wars music in the at any point in the game. At no point in the game are you going to hear any Star Wars music. It's just music that they made. And I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like you should be able to maybe revent some of the music. But the fact that literally nothing about it feels like Star Wars. If someone was to walk in while I was playing and ask me what this is, I feel like I could tell them this was almost anything and they would believe it because very, very little does it feels like it's Star Wars. I feel like in a lot of aspects, Ubisoft didn't want to pay the licensing fees for music or characters because this game, mind you, takes place between episode five and six. You would think that you would see things related to those movies in the game, but this is so on its own. And in reality, it's not that it has to show you, hey, these things are connected to the game or vice versa. If you're gonna go out your way to let people know that this takes place between these two movies, it seems like they would do something to make you feel like you're taking place between those two movies. If that wasn't the case, you could literally drop this game anywhere in Star Wars. It doesn't really matter where. 
because this game has nothing to do with anything. Like in the very few seconds of the game opening, they mentioned the Death Star got blown up. And that's pretty much it. Yes, there's other little things that you will see Easter eggs, but they're very, very small and extremely predictable. And speaking about things being predictable, the storyline is so predictable. Every single time that something happened, every time that you got double crossed, every time that anything was going on, I already knew it was happening because this game is just extremely, extremely predictable. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I didn't have fun with this game. I actually did have fun when I was playing this game. There were aspects of it. There was one mission in particular where you were doing a stealth mission through an Imperial base, and I actually thought that was fun. There was another point where the Imperials actually had a very high wanted level on me, and I had to go to another part of the map and lower my wanted level by trying to sneak past some death troopers. There are things that are fun about it, but everything about it, even at its best, is very mid and just basic. And that's the ongoing thing that you're going to hear me constantly keep talking about this game. When it came to the stealth, the stealth was very comical. The AI is pretty stupid in this game. It's very easy to learn their patterns of walking back and forth and how to trick them. I did enjoy having Nyx, um, the companion that you have with you, run around and distract them. There was moments that it was fun, but the thing about this is also this game is extremely repetitive. You will be doing the same thing over and over and over, especially when it comes to folding the AI. A few times it took me a few tries to figure out how to get around them, but for the most part, it just got to the point where it was just simple distract, sneak, distract, sneak. It was very rinse, repeat. And the other thing that is actually so bad in this game is the fact that this game has this horrible rhythm unlock system where you're at a door or you're at a crate and you're trying to get into it or get past it and you have to do these rhythm beats to get past it. And I feel that Ubisoft knew this was a garbage mechanic because for the first time in any game that I can think of off the top of my head, you have the option to just turn that whole thing off. So pretty much lock picking in this game, you can just turn that off because it's not fun. It's not good at all. And not only is it not fun or not good, you do it so much in this game. Like you think other games like Skyrim or Fallout or stuff like that that you're doing lock picking quite frequently. In here, I feel like you're doing a lock pick in almost every single room you go into. It is used so much and it is not fun at all. Also, slicing and hacking isn't really that fun either. That's not the biggest deal. Just hacking in general is not fun. Every time I got to a terminal that I had to hack, I kind of just rolled my eyes because I just didn't want to do it. As far as the combat goes, it's just okay. You have one weapon. It's a weapon that can pretty much just do everything. You know, you just upgrade and customize it and it just does everything. You just use that one gun. It does suck that when you actually do pick up other characters' weapons, you can only use it for an extremely limited time or until K does anything and then she drops it. And then that's about it. But sometimes, you know, I kind of wish we had more than just that one weapon, even though, like I said, you can switch between different modes on that weapon. One of the cool things I did enjoy is that you do have a stun blaster on there, which a lot of Star Wars games don't have. And so I did appreciate things like that. Ultimately, like I said, the combat was just very basic. You know, you get out from behind cover, you do a few shots, you get down. I do like the fact that you can actually do melee in this game. It was fun to just run up and punch some people sometimes and get into that little short combat. But outside of that, it was, like I said, it was, it's just really basic. I just ran up bash X a couple of times and then just kept going. And I might've talked about this already, but the AI is pretty stupid in this game. So many times that I walk up and knock someone one out right in front of someone and the AI didn't notice, but then I'd be across the room and they went on red alert for me like, I don't know, sneezing or something. It was so random and I didn't understand how that worked. Even when it came to everyone in the room knowing I was there, you can take them out pretty easy because the AI is pretty dumb in this game. The other problem I have with this game is story and the characters. In this game, I'll be honest with you, with the exception of the people on the cover, which is K, Nix, and Indy, I think his name is Indy15, the robot, none of these characters in the game you will remember. I don't know what any of their motivation is, nor do I really care. The acting is pretty like bare bones basic. It's not that it's bad acting, it's just like, okay, there's not a single character, even I guess you can call him the main villain, wasn't really that interesting to me. The story just being extremely predictable. Now I know it just sounds like I'm shredding this game, and I'm really not. 
that. Like I said, I did enjoy this game and I do plan on getting back into this game. I'll probably play more of it today. But even with that being the case, I have to let you guys know this game is a $70 game. I feel like you have better options out there and I definitely feel like this is a game that you should wait till it goes on sale unless you are just a huge Star Wars fan. Again, I kind of forgot it was Star Wars a lot of times, but you know, if you're a huge fan, you probably will enjoy this. I found enjoyment in it. My wife found enjoyment in it. And I don't regret playing this game at all. At the same time, I would say either A, wait till it goes on sale, or use Ubisoft Plus for a month and play the game for free or $20, however your subscription with them is. But I don't suggest paying 70 and more because this game can go up to 120 or 130 dollars so i will stick away from that there's so much more about this game that i can go into detail with and i know a lot of stuff i'm actually forgetting but i just kind of wanted to get to the point i didn't want this video to be super long the one thing i have to add about this game that i'm actually surprised i forgot to mention until this point is the bugs in it now i'll be honest with you i didn't experience a lot of bugs when i played this game for the most part it was relatively smooth and solid but when bugs did happen, it was extremely game breaking. One of the parts in particular was I was trying to get into this room and I kept doing the thing to let me into the room and the door wouldn't open. And I thought, wow, okay, I must be missing something. And I spent 30 minutes going all over the place trying to figure out how to get into this room to eventually me just having to turn the game off and coming back and turn it on. And I did the same thing again and the door opened. That happened a few times in this game. So when I was in an area where there was puzzles, I constantly kept wondering, was I supposed to actually get into this room? Am I doing the puzzle the right way? Or is the thing just not opening or working because the game is busted? These are things that they can fix. Hopefully they will fix, but it does become a problem when you keep running into this issue throughout this game, not being able to complete objectives or do certain things because the object would not open or would not let you proceed forward because it's bugged out or broken. The overall takeaway from this game is almost every aspect of the game, dialogue, story, action, stealth. Every part of this game is just basic mid. It's okay, you know, again, I think a lot of people will have fun with it, but I don't know if you're gonna have a lot of fun when you're spending $70 on this game, when there's other games coming out, like Warhammer comes out like in a week or something. I don't know, this isn't the game I would suggest you spend your money on right now. There's other games coming out this year that you would really, really do better spending $70 on than this one. But that's just my take. What do you guys think? Have you picked this game up? Do you plan on picking this game up? Comment those things down below. I'm really interested in what you guys think about this. And like I said before, if you guys can like and subscribe this video, it actually helps me a lot and actually helps me when it comes to bringing more videos like this to you guys so you don't have to spend your money i'll go ahead and spend mine so you don't have to but anyway i will catch you all the next one see ya